Hi my beautiful family and welcome to another of my videos. Now I do know I look crazy but I am just filming this makeup look and I'm going to have it on my channel. Makeup look is before this video. I'm going to put the card up here. I'm creating makeup look with this palette. A very easy fast makeup look. Now I wanted to cut this video and uh, film the review of the foundation. Today I'm going to try this airbrush flawless foundation stay all day and night from Charlotte Timberley. Timberley in for warm for warm. Now I did match myself online on the sephora.com and I did use the two face bone this way shade porcelain I think it's called to match myself. Unfortunately this is too light. So light that I don't think I'm going to use it um, all along because I will look very pale. But I'm going to do that in this video because I'm not going out. Uh, I want to show you that how light this is. So you maybe need to be careful if you try to match yourself online. I don't have a Charlotte Timberley foundation here in any store so I can swatch and see. But I use this Too Faced. This is, let me just show you. I use this Too Faced as my guideline because I like this shade. And this is what I got. It's a big difference and I'm going to use it. I hope it will ox oxidize. Um, I really hope so, but I'm going to try. This is Too Faced and this is Charlotte Timberley. And when I try to match myself using this at my guideline, I got this shade and unfortunately it's too light. But, but I can mix it with other, with other foundations that I have that are a little bit too dark. And I hope it will oxidize. But we are going to try today. We are going to try it today. And for and if you're interested to see what I think about this foundation and how it will last on my oily T zone, then please keep on watching. So for the base, I'm going to use Cover FX as my. Uh, base this primer I got from my friend Valerie and we did this box swap a couple of weeks ago and I got this from her love this primer I also got the elf l poreless puffy primer that I really really like but I'm trying that one out now so I know how this one works with my foundation because I've been trying using it a lot but I'm just testing out this elf and I want to wait this is very sticky. I like that. But I don't own anything from this brand. And I really, really want to try the foundation because I love foundations. So let's use two pumps. It's kind of liquidy, but it looks like to be a very nice, very nice coverage. I'm going to use e.l.f. sponge. This is too light, but we'll use a lot of bronzer. Oh my God. I'm going to look so pale. Oh. This is, this is coverage. It smells nice. Oh God. A little bit goes a long way. So I uh, definitely could use a little bit less of the foundation. This is going on very nice so far. A lot of coverage. It's, the shade is so wrong, but let's see uh, how it's going to wear on my skin. Okay, I look so crazy right now with this shade on. How could it get so wrong? Have you used the Sephora's match, foundation match tool? And uh, did it, because I did match myself with other foundation and I can't, can't take myself seriously when I, <laughs> I'm sorry guys, I can't take myself seriously. <laughs> God, this is, this is terrible. It's drying down very fast though. I feel like it looks a little bit drying on my skin right now. It's medium coverage. Uh, so bad shade though. But I'll try to use makeup to kind of fix it. Let's use Jeffree Star concealer because I think that one is light enough. Yeah. 
because I feel like my concealers will be a little bit darker than the foundation. Maybe it will oxidize there. It's so yellow too. So wrong shade. I mean, this concealer goes on very nice on top, but it's drying fast because of the foundation. This foundation dried very, very fast. So I got this powder also from my friend Valerie. I'm going to use it to set my under eyes. So I only saw, did set my under eyes with that powder, but I'm going to use this Huda Beauty Tantor in light just to contour my skin and maybe <laughs> uh, dark up this foundation a little bit. I love this product. It's blending very nice and I like using it. Definitely using it today. We can't go and look ghostly, but it would be fun. Maybe I will call this Halloween. It feels almost like Halloween on my face now. But let's blend everything. And then we're going to set it with some powder that has some coverage. Maybe we can fix the shade a little bit too. So far, uh, this foundation al allows the makeup to blend nice on top. This is not only wrong. Okay, now the foundation looks funny on my nose. I don't like it. It looks cakey on my nose and my nose looks very dry. Hmm. I don't like that. I'm not really impressed because I've been trying new foundations that are immediately gave me that wow effect and I don't think it's only shade it's sitting funny on my nose uh, but we'll see maybe it will be get better during the day I'm not impressed it looks dry on my skin a little bit now so I don't know how that will look on dry skin though uh, okay so I'm going to set it now with this fit me powder and this is in 20 light medium which is a little bit darker shade um, so I think it will be nice to set it. Use a big fluffy brush. Deep up the shade a little bit. And right now it looks okay with the powder though. It looks better. I'm going to bronze, of course I'm going to bronze and I'm going to use I'm going to use this that I got from my friend Valerie. I'm going to use the bronze and the blush from this palette. And let's do so. This Jeffree Star brush from Morphe and Jeffree Star collection. The first one. Deep up. I'm going to use a lot of the bronzer today because I want to look bronzy. I feel a little bit pale. Now I feel like the shade is not that bad though. I think we are saving the makeup look. Blush brush. I'm liking it. So I'm going to finish the makeup look and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so it's 1328 I don't know if you can see there you can see it and I'm going to wear this foundation the whole day I right now I do like how it looks on my skin I think this foundation needed a couple of minutes on my skin to actually um, sink in and I still think the foundation is a bit too light now I did make it work I mean I don't think it looks too light right now maybe it does I don't know let me know Please let me know down below if I look ghostly or not. But I'm liking how it looks on my skin and it looks like I don't have makeup on. Or maybe it does, but just a little bit. I'm going to set it with some setting spray. Hopefully my mascara won't transfer everywhere. I'm using the LA Girl setting spray that I got from my friend Valerie. And uh, let's see, 
well, mascara just a little bit dressed from down here onto my low lash line, but it doesn't look terrible. I really <coughs> setting spray in my mouth. I really like how it looks so far. My hair is still wet. Um, but I like how the foundation looks so far. My skin, uh, I hope it will last all day. I hope it won't look cakey or anything. I just feel like it's a little bit too light for my skin. But maybe if I like the foundation, I can mix it. I did buy the Smashbox foundation uh, and that one is too dark. So <laughs> I tried that foundation. I'm not be really a big fan. I didn't film it. Maybe I should. Let me know down below if you want to see that Smashbox um, new. Let me, I can show you this foundation. Full coverage studio skin. Let me know down below if you want it to see the, the make the review of this foundation. I tried it only once. I can try it again on the video. That one is too dark, so maybe I will mix the, these two. Maybe, maybe that will work. Let me know down below what you think. I'm going to go with my day and I'll be back in a couple of hours to see how this foundation looks on my skin. Off the cup, off the full day wear. Hi family, I'm back. It's 8 o'clock and I think I had this foundation for 7 hours enough. I'm not wrong, but it's time for me to remove it because I'm tired. And I've been sitting and filming and editing the whole day. So, let's see how it looks. It feels like it may be oxidized a little bit, but not too much. I've been eating a lot and I do look shiny and it's... I don't like how it, it looks like it's sitting on my skin on the nose. I really don't like how it looks on my nose. Yeah, and when I touch it, it removes, which I don't really like. Uh, it looks cakey on my chin though, but it looks nice everywhere else. So I'm not really impressed with this foundation, I have to say, because I do like the Pure Cosmetics and also the... Too Faced and uh, Urban Decay new, new foundation more than I like this one. And I'm kind of disappointed because I thought that I would like Charlotte Timberley's foundation a lot. I'll try to mix it with my other foundations that are a little bit too dark for me. I mean, it's not bad, bad. It's not the worst foundation ever, but it's not the best one. So doesn't look bad here on my pore uh, area and everywhere else and doesn't look bad on my forehead it's shiny definitely shiny i'll try it with another primer but uh, i don't like how it sits on my chin though it looks very cake and my nose looks not good so i don't like that um but yeah it's not the best it's not the worst i mean i will if i would choose i would choose the pure one that's like my new holy grail but guys i hope you like this video please let me know down below what you think about the foundation have you tried it? I'm definitely going to soon to film a video where I talk about all the foundations that I've been trying lately. So if you're interested to, for, to hear my thoughts about that, don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell. And I hope I see my next video. I love you all. Bye.